Now let's also take you to the remarks made by the top court. The Supreme Court said that SBI should give details to ECI by tomorrow. Shivani Makoli gets us more. By Harish Salve, while he was saying that uh, uh, there is a big data that needs to be matched, but uh, the Supreme Court has come down very heavily on SBI and it has said that there is no question of uh, extending the dates and you need to reveal all the information. It might be a cumbersome uh, process, but what have you been doing in the last 26 days? And uh, when the deadline was getting closed two days ahead of the deadline, uh, the Supreme Court has also said that two days ahead of the deadline, the plea was filed by the SBI to extend the date till June 30th. So now this plea has been rejected. It has been dismissed by the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court has also made a lot of observations while writing the order. The uh, Supreme Court has said that by 12th, that is tomorrow, SBI must hand over all the details of the purchasers of the bonds along with the, the denominations that have been given in these electoral bonds. And the ECI, the Election Commission, has to put out all the details by 15th of March. So now in next three uh, days, three to four days, the election commission will be putting out all the details that the SBI will be give it, giving it about these electoral bonds. Here, Hari Shalve had also said that this is a big number. 22,000, uh, more than 22,000 bonds, electoral bonds have been purchased. All right, that's my colleague uh, Shivani, of course, getting us those important details, what the Supreme Court has said. Let's also give you a quick... Uh, Lowdown as to what the top court essentially remarked here. Now, the Supreme Court said that the SBI should give details to Election Commission of India by tomorrow. Also said that ECI should upload all information by 5 p.m. March 15. That's the deadline that's given. ECI shall publish on its website all details forwarded by SBI. And the Supreme Court has also said, never ask you to match details. You may publish them separately too. And also remarked by stating, we place SBI on notice that if not complied with orders, action will follow. As of now, no contempt notice is what the Supreme Court has done. We'll also take you through the other important remarks that was made by the CJI while hearing this case. He also questioned what action was taken because he essentially did ask the petitioner in this case representing uh, the SBI Harish Salve about what they've done in the last 26 days. It's important to note here as to why the timeline of 26 days is concerned because this action was taken 26 days ago. Also has gone on to ask his extent of matching um, done now in terms of this entire uh, electoral process data. Also asked why is your application silent on the status. Now these are all remarks that was made by the CJI while hearing this particular case. Um, also went on to question who contributed to which political party and um of course, the other remarks that were made during this by the SBI is that it's a time-consuming process. My colleague Harish breaks this down for us. We are on notice saying that any uh, in violation of our judgment will be taken uh, very seriously and uh, action will follow. And, uh, uh, and uh, as per the Supreme Court uh, judgment, uh, tomorrow is the deadline, uh, new deadline fixed for the State Bank of India to furnish all details to the Election Commission of India. And Election Commission of India has been asked to upload all these details regarding uh, uh, all the electoral bonds of purchase till date, name of the purchasers, uh, denominations nomination of the purchasers, who are the beneficiary political party, all these details Meghna has to be uploaded by uh, the Election Commission of India by 5 p.m. March, uh, March 15. That is the new deadline given. And the uh, State Bank of India uh, CMD, uh, Chairman and Managing Director has been asked to file a compliance affidavit in the Supreme Court after uh, giving all the details uh, to the uh, Election Commission of India. And as you rightly said, uh, 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 Supreme Court had actually pulled up the State Bank of India seeking a uh, seeking an extended deadline till June 30, asking why have you come to court two days before the deadline? What were you doing for the last 26 days? And also uh, tell us your application is silent as to till uh, till now what steps you have done. There is no status uh, as to what you have done till now. At least you should have mentioned that. And uh, in fact, uh, the uh, Supreme Court found merit in the uh, application filed by the Association of Democratic Reforms.
argued by Prashant Bhushan and Supreme Court. I let me read out that uh, why the Supreme Court did not give an extension of time. Uh, Supreme Court said that SBI can easily collect, collate, and submit details. SBI has the record record of unique number allotted to each electoral bond and the KYC details of its purchaser. SBI is well aware of the identity of the purchasers of the each uh, of the electoral bond. The relevant, uh, in fact, uh, the uh, the uh, SBI maintains a secret number based record of donors who buys bonds and the political parties they donate to since each electoral bond has a unique number a simple query on the database can generate a report in a particular format so uh, but as of now when uh, harish salve appearing for the state bank of india said that uh, cited certain compl uh, com complications procedural difficulties saying that uh, details uh, details of the issuance of a bond redemption of a bond a list of beneficiaries all are kept in separate uh, silos and that needs to be matched supreme court said as per our order we have not not asked for any matching of the details whatever details you have give it to uh, give it to the election commission of india let the election commission of india publish on the website and if you desire any longer uh, supreme court warned that whatever details uh, the election commission of india has given to us we All right, that's my colleague Harish essentially getting us all the important key takeaways that we need to know and the remarks essentially made by the CJI as well as what the petitioner Harish Salve in this case representing the SBI had to say. But considering the fact that he also pointed out about what Prashant Bhushan had said, because remember the ADR was filed in terms of the content plea. Let's listen in um, to that reaction. The court had asked them to give is already available with the state bank. According to their own affidavit, they have to just submit the details of the donors on the one hand and the details of the parties which redeemed the bonds on the other hand. State Bank was saying we have to do the cross-matching, etc. Court has said you don't need to do the cross-matching, just give these details to the Election Commission and you have to give it by tomorrow. And thereafter, they have said that the State Bank chairman should file an affidavit to this effect. They are not yet taking any contempt action, but they may have to if the state bank doesn't comply. They have also said that the election commission should publish all these details which have been given by the state bank about the donors and the parties which have received the bonds by 15th of this month. The Supreme Court has said the plea for extension of time till June 30th is dismissed. The SBI has been directed to disclose details by March 12th. Now, ECI to publish details on website by March 15th. Now, let's also take you to the remarks made by the top court. The Supreme Court said that SBI should give details to ECI by tomorrow. Shivani Makoli gets us more by Harish Salve while he was saying that uh, uh, there is a big data that needs to be matched but uh, the Supreme Court has come down very heavily on SBI and it has said that there is no question of uh, extending the dates and you need to reveal all the information. It might be a cumbersome uh, process but what have you been doing in the last 26 days? And uh, when the deadline was getting closed two days ahead of the deadline, uh, the Supreme Court has also said that two days ahead of the deadline the plea was filed by the SBI to extend the date till June 30th. So now this plea has been rejected. It has been dismissed by the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court has also made a lot of observations while writing the order. The uh, Supreme Court has said that by 12th, that is tomorrow, SBI must hand over all the details of the purchasers of the bonds along with the, the denominations that have been given in these electoral bonds. And the ECI, the Election Commission, has to put out all the details by 15th of March. So now, in next three Three uh, days, three to four days, the election commission will be putting out all the details that the SBI will be give it, giving it about these electoral bonds. Here, Hari Shalve had also said that this is a big number. 22,000, uh, more than 22,000 bonds, electoral bonds have been purchased.